pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it, towards it. What's up, Earthlings? There are many observations made and tools that are used that either show us that we live on a globe or give us measurements that would only be possible if we lived on a globe. But there's one observation that, to my knowledge, no one's talked about or presented, and that's the belt of Venus. The belt of Venus is an atmospheric phenomenon that creates a pink band in the sky at sunrise and sunset. It's actually the area between the Earth's shadow and the blue sky. The belt is similar to Alpenglow, which creates a reddish glow just over the horizon. The pink color in the belt is sunlight that is shining through the denser atmosphere near the Earth's surface and is being reflected off the atmosphere at the opposite end of the sky. The dark blue layer in the sky below the pink belt is the Earth's shadow being cast onto the atmosphere. As Earth rotates, sunlight ceases to reach parts of the atmosphere near the Earth's horizon on the side of the sky opposite the sun. Earth's shadow is being cast upwards onto the atmosphere, and it's no longer reflecting direct sunlight. As Earth's shadow continues to emerge, it makes the pink band appear to separate from the horizon. This gives the band a more dramatic arch shape. We call this arch the Belt of Venus. So, my question to Flat Earthers, if any of them ever actually watched this video, is this. If the Earth supposedly has no curvature, and a geometric horizon doesn't exist, how is the flat surface of the water able to create a shadow of the Earth on the atmosphere opposite the Sun? And how is this so-called non-geometric horizon able to block light from the Sun? I think that's a pretty good question, but we all know we'll probably never get an answer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and check out the rest of my videos if you're interested. And as always, peace. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. Towards it.